Pray muna tayo. Sige. Okay, sige. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that we could just catch up and also talk about politics and government today. I pray, O oh Lord, that as early as now, um, mga hearts who would um, listen to this will not only get something for homeschooling, but also something about you, which is far more than they say in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, naka-record na tayo actually. Okay. <laughs> So, hello everyone! <laughs> Nandito na yung bisita ko. <laughs> si Mrs. Mrs. Yes. Crystal Ignacio. And we met in high school. She was our class valedictorian. <laughs> and, then, and she was Ma'am Di Manlig. Yes! <laughs> si AT. But anyway, ano ba? And then we met, we re, uh, got reunited in the same school where we taught high school. Mm-hmm. So, ayun. So, I taught English and she taught history. And during that time, she also coached the debate team. Mm-hmm. So, yay! <laughs> Oy, game na! Ano na? Ano nang, ano ang iyong day-to-day ngayon? Tal, kamusta na? Okay. <laughs> So, um, it's been a while since we've seen each other. I know, right? Pero, <laughs> pero alam mo naman na may asawa ako, di ba? Oo, oh, nandun ako, <laughs> nung wedding mo. Uh, nandun na, din ako nung wedding oh. mo. So, yeah, I've been married for, we turned eight years noong May. And then, um, I gave birth last year, my first baby. So, I, I have a, yes, I have a seven-month-old. So, ngayon, I'm not working. And ang aking day-to-day is, well, a lot of it revolves around our baby. Bakit yeah. kaya? Bakit kaya? Kasi, kasi hindi niya pa kaya yung sarili niya. Sabi ko nga eh. Uh, Eight, seven siya. months. So. <laughs> okay. So, yun. So, a lot of it is taking care of him. Mm-hmm. Tapos, then, kapag, kapag papayagan niya, talaga siya, actually, siya si Sere. Eh, okay. Because, Okay. Kapag okay sa kanya, that's when I do house chores and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then sa gabi, pag tulog na siya, dun kami nagkakaroon ng time ni Aigen, my husband. Okay. Na, <laughs> kunwari, wala tayong anak. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel you. <laughs> o, oh, sa'yo, dalawa na. <laughs> Pero you last bought at two years, two school years ago? Um, last, well, Nagturo pa ako ng 2019 to 2020. Okay. okay. So, can you take us back that time when you... Wait, it has always been something related to history, di ba? Tama ba? History, social studies? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the last time you taught, anong, anong subjects? Um, the last time I taught, so yung 2019-2020, mm-hmm. ang... Um, Tinuro ko noon was contemporary issues. So, yun ang social studies for grade 10. Okay, wait lang. Grade 10 is... Like, fourth year high ako. school. Fourth year high school. Okay. Uh-uh. And then, world history, which is social studies for grade 9. Okay. So, these are required subjects. Yes. Okay. Medyo hindi na ako ano eh. Hindi ko na alam what is required of the uh-uh. different electives. So, automatic, when you go grade 9, automatic meron world history. Mm-mm. And then when you go grade 10, when you enroll sa grade 10, automatic mayroong contemporary issues. Okay. Ay, sandali. Sorry, mali. Grade 8 pala yung world. Grade 9 okay. yung economics. Sorry. Okay, okay. And yeah. then grade 10 yung... Contemporary issues. Yung contemporary issues. Okay. So, how was it like teaching contemporary issues? Actually, exciting siya. Okay. Uh, I'm kasi looking nga, it's... at my kodigo ha. Okay. Sige, go. <laughs> Um, kasi yung experience ko mm-hmm. since, well, I've been teaching naman since 2001. Okay, yes. Uh-huh. 2001? Hindi, 2002. Ano ba yan? 2002. <laughs> Mommy break. So, okay. uh-huh. so, in the past, mm-hmm. ang high school, which is now your junior high school, grade 7 to 10, dati yan, Philippine history, um, Asian history, world history, and economics. Okay, yan yung alam ko. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So, nothing overtly na politics and governance. Okay. So, lahat yun, parang in, may, 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 nasisingitan mo lang ng politics and governance. Okay. Okay. Ang napansin ko lang though, kasi like sa Philippine history and go- government, okay mm-hmm. sana kasi government. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga lang, um, since nasa dulo yung government part, 
Mm-hmm. Usually, hindi siya natatakel or mabilisan lang. Okay. Tapos nun, bata pa yung mga estudyante. So, mm. wala pa sila masyadong pakailan. Okay. Yeah. Oo. Yes, yes. Sa grade 8 and 9 naman dati, yung mm-hmm. Asian history and world history, actually interested sila sa government ng ibang bansa. Okay. Curious sila. Parang okay. ano yung parliamentary, okay. ano yung constitutional monarchy. Okay. But, but it's more of a curiosity. Hindi talaga siya um, kung ano yung nag apply sa buhay nila. Okay. Alam mo yun? Parang because it's different. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Pagdating naman da, yung dun sa economics, um, it's more on the money issue. Mm-hmm. So yun. So, hindi masyado na, hindi rin masyado politics and governance ang dating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I like about contemporary issues, one, they're older. So, they're okay. grade 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hindi katulad ng grade, grade 7 dati. Grade 10, 16. 16, 15. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tapos nun, hindi siya, ano, um, cut and dry lang na what are the branches of government? Who okay. are the people in power? Okay. It's more of ano yung issues okay. na nangyayari? Mm-hmm. And so, it's in context. Tapos nun, it's something that they hear. Okay. And it's something na alam nilang pinag... Well, kung na, naririnig nila na pinagtatalunan. Mm-hmm. So, they're also they're also curious about it. Okay. And then, lalo na ngayon, um, ang teenagers ngayon, alimahan yung being woke, trendy to be socially aware and to yeah. have a, an opinion about it. Yes, yes. Wait <laughs> so, ko na laman niyang woke. <laughs> <laughs> Wala, mga, tita ka na. <laughs> mga two weeks ago lang. <laughs> Okay. At least, di ba, alam mo? Oo, oh, oh, alam ko na siya. Okay. Alam ko lang, woke up like this. <laughs> but anyway, yes. Okay. So, so, they want to know. Okay. Kasi people people their age are talking about it. Mm-hmm. So, may, nandun yung, at least in the cultural milieu ngayon for the uh-huh. youth, yeah. interested sila okay. sa mga ganyang bagay. Okay. So, yeah. so, was it, is it easier to teach or ang um, Kasi nung ginawa ko sa kanila, ang ginawa ko is, so they they were able to choose what um, issue. So may, okay. may mga issues na okay. um, I presented them particular issues. Tapos pwede rin naman sila mag-suggest if they mm-hmm. wanted. And then, they have to they have to study it. Kasi yun okay. din yung problema dun sa, ang ganda nga na yung youth ngayon, di ba? Woke. Uh-oh. Pero, honestly, when I read yung mga status nila or nakikitingin ako ng tweets nila kasi wala naman akong Twitter. Mm-hmm. Si Aigan ang nagdi-Twitter. <laughs> okay. A lot of their opinions um, lazily made. Okay. okay. Alam mo yun, hindi, bi, para yeah. may kita mo, kung binasa mo yung, kung nari binasa mo yung bill na pinag-uusapan, tapos okay. binasa mo yung opinion nila, okay. halatang hindi nila binasa yung bill. Okay. okay. <laughs> so yun. So, ang part ng ginawa ko sa kanila, before you come up with your stand, okay. kailangan basahin nyo. Yes. Ano ba yun? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, kung bill yan, basahin nyo. Batas ba yan, basahin nyo. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, you can read the different opinions para from there, masasala mo, alin ba yung valid? Alin ba yung ingay lang yeah. na hindi naman valid? Pero, pero, in terms of age, do you think 16 years old could actually study a bill? Kasi kaya. Parang, parang kung isipin mo, Mm-mm. para ang lalim, di ba? So, Mm-mm. kaya ng isang 16-year-old magbasa at uh, mag-aral ng bill? Kaya. Okay. So, yeah. yun. So, so you, you challenge them to really read? Ilang pages yeah. ba yan? Wait lang. Ilang pages? Depende kasi sa okay. bill. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, pero ba kung kaya? Yeah. Oo, kaya naman siya. Mm-hmm. Or kahit nga yung ano lang eh, the first two to three pages, okay. may, makukuha mo na kasi kung ano yung gist. Okay. Kahit nga sa first page eh, kuha mo na yung okay. gist ng ano gusto mangyari. So, basahin nila yung bill and then, and then they read. look at the different different opinions. Okay. Kasi kailangan i-present nila. Yeah. But the thing is, where should they read these opinions? Kasi ang dami na rin na parang baka naman din lazily uh-uh, made. Yes. So, <laughs> Where do you suggest? I suggested, um, although may mga kakulangan pa rin minsan ang media, mm-hmm. um, pero I think as of now, the best best siya in terms of accessibility, yeah. saka kahit pa paano may accountability sa tao, mm-hmm. um, yung mga news outlets pa rin. Okay. So, so yung, yung newspapers, yeah. um, yung mga journalists, news okay. reporters. Uh-oh. So yeah. best pa rin kung kumuha ng, mm-hmm. ano, ng opinions from them. Yeah. Okay, so now that you know, you t- 
taught this, were there any challenges? Along? I'm sure, well, I'm sure there were. Mm-hmm. Pero ano-ano kaya yung mga challenges? Aside from the idea na parang medyo lazily made ang mga opinions mm-hmm. or parang copy-paste. Mm-hmm. Ano pa yung mga challenges as a teacher? Um, siguro, kasi syempre, even though bata pa sila, mm-hmm. they come in with preconceived notions. Okay. Okay. So, for example, um, when we were talking about um, sa LGBT, oh yan, mm-hmm. di ba? Pride Month. Yeah. Pride Month pa ba? June. Okay. <laughs> and since this is a Christian school, mm-hmm. and um, and they most of them come from Christian family, so mm-hmm. syempre, they already come in with the mindset na homosexuality is against God's design. Okay. So, feeling nila, any bill that supports or helps or protects okay. homosexuals, oh. mali na kaagad. Okay. Okay. So, kailangan, kailangan ng nuancing mm-hmm. na kung, so does that mean na kung kristyano ka, um, you are for discrimination of mm-hmm. homosexuals? Yeah, Hindi yeah. naman, di ba? Yes, so, yes, yun. Yes. So, yun yung okay. kailangan, yun yung, ang maganda lang, kasi, it gives them a chance to see na, okay, kailangan pala may ganung paghihimay, may yeah. ganung paghihiwalay din na, okay, I do not support your lifestyle. I think yeah. it is against God's design. Uh-huh. But I also don't think it's right to treat you badly. Yeah. Parang you need to be protected as well. Oo. Uh-huh. So, yung mga ganong nuancing. Okay. But it was was a good opportunity for them to, ah, okay, ganun pala. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang buhay, hindi naman ganun kanit yung yeah. partitions. Yeah. yeah, correct. Okay. So, Siyempre, you were in school and you have the authority to teach them, to, Mm-mm. you know, allow them to, parang, think, you ask them to think more, etc. Pero, most of the homeschooling parents naman, well, number one, they do not really, may, maybe some of them are not really aware of the things that are happening. Like, yung iba kasi parang ayaw na lang, na-stress sila, di ba? Ako, may ganun ako si <laughs> Parang ayaw ka, na mag, ayaw ka na manood ng news kasi na-stress mm-hmm. lang ako. Parang ang sakit sa puso, ang sakit sa ulo. So, yun yung sa akin ha, that's mm-hmm. me. And then, yung iba rin naman is when we talk about these things, parang as much as possible, wag na lang. Mm-hmm. Kasi, yun nga, toxic or hindi mm-hmm. ready yung parent to teach. Mm-hmm. So, how, how do you think can parents prepare their kids? Kasi one way or another, the students would really go back to regular school. Uh-uh. It's either they go to a regular school pag high school, they enroll as a grade 10 student, so automatic they would have this subject. Or even if they go homeschooling all the way until high school, magka-college pa din. Uh-uh. So, for sure, kahit hindi subject ito, uh-uh. they would come across teachers or professors who would have you know, strong beliefs about certain Mm-mm. issues. Mm-mm. So, how do you think can parents prepare their kids Mm-mm. once the kids are in a classroom yeah. and they sit down with teachers or with classmates who have very strong opinions on these things, on politics, on governance, on current issues? Okay. Well, if... Sige. Yeah, I'll try to address different kinds of families. <laughs> sige, sige. Go. If, if you're a family or you're a, your parents na nanonood na taman, talaga kayo ng news, mm-hmm. isama niyo na yung anak niyo. Okay. And then afterwards, pag-usapan niyo. Okay. Okay? If you feel na um, may mga, con- kunwari masyado pang maliit yung anak niyo, mm-hmm. and may content na hindi pa sila ready. Mm-hmm. Um, ang maganda naman, pwede, pwede naman hindi nyo sa TV panoorin. Yeah. Pwede naman online. So, panoorin okay. nyo muna. Piliin mo yung kung anong part. Yeah. Oo. Okay. Actually, ang mga, yung mga, wag nyo kunin yung prime time mm-hmm. na news. Kunin nyo yung very late night or early morning. Okay. Kasi usually yon may ikse. Tapos nun, wala na yung mga, hindi naman masyado importante. Kasi yung prime time may kasamang entertainment <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> Kaya kailangan controversial. Lang. Okay, yeah, yeah. So yon. So if you're a fan, if you really watch the Uh-oh. news, isama niyo na sila and then pag-usap para nandoon na, ay they know what's happening mm-hmm. and then pag-usapan niyo. Okay. Now if you're the kind of parent na honestly, you don't I get it. Some people don't want to watch the news kasi it's mm-hmm. it's toxic. Mm-hmm. Um 
difficult as it is, the part mm-hmm. of the news that affects you, okay. yun ang i-discuss. Yun ang aralin mo okay. with your kids at pag-usapan. Why those things? Because those are the things that are usually controversial. Okay. Those are the things that matter. Okay. Those are the things that are important. Kung if it affects you, it touches on your values. Okay. Diba? Either it goes against your values or okay. it supports your values. Mm-hmm. And syempre, as a homeschooling parent, I'm guessing one of your reasons is because you want to impart your values. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's a good opportunity na this affects me, so this must be something important. Okay. So that's what you discuss with your children. You're mm-hmm. not ready, then you study it with your children. Okay. What if? Bigla ko lang naisip. Kasi <laughs> pag may adults na, di ba, like uh-uh. high schoolers na yung you know, school mo, what if the parent and the child have different views Mm-mm. on a certain issue? How should a parent deal with it? Okay. When I um, handled contemporary issues, mm-hmm. kasi yun nga, they had to research, di ba, and yeah. then show the differing views, and then they had to come up with their own. Okay. Okay. Um, sometimes afterwards, the students will ask me, um, "Ma'am, what's what's your opinion?" Okay. Okay. And sometimes I don't agree with theirs. Okay. And it it doesn't necessarily mean na mababa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Buti naman live to, may makikita ng ibang magulang. <laughs> okay, recorded, recorded. Ayan. But then, syempre, they're curious na parang bakit maliba yung opinion na. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yes, so, I yes. tell them na, this is my reason. Okay. okay. And then, I also point out to rin, naman din sa kanila na, valid rin naman yung reason mo. Pero sa akin, para sa akin, mas important ito. Mm-hmm. Pero kung merong flaws sa reasoning nila, okay. and it's not just because of, you know, it's against what I want. Yeah. Pero kung talagang flawed yung reasoning, yeah. I point it out. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> as parents, lalo na kung teenagers na yan, mm-hmm. They, they will most probably form their own opinions and that's a good skill then mm-hmm. to to teach yeah. them yeah oh diba um and so you welcome that mm-hmm. tapos noon if you have a differing opinion um just explain it to them in the same way na pinakinggan mo sila kaya mo yeah. nalaman na iba yung opinion nila yeah. dapat Uh-oh. marunong rin sila goal yeah yun yung goal <laughs> dapat marunong makinig Siyempre, madali pa sa atin ang babata pa ng mga anak natin, di ba? Oh, dapat okay. makinig din sila sa atin, okay. di ba? Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And that's another problem rin ngayon, di ba? May mm-hmm. woke na nga, pero may cancel culture naman. Okay. Wherein, if your opinion is different from mine, yeah. I cancel you, you know? I yeah. I don't listen to you. Okay. Which is which is something we need to fight. Okay. Yeah, na you need to teach your... Um, your students, your children to come up with opinions based on fact mm-hmm. and how to enter into um, civilized discussion. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Kasi, yeah. grabe, grabe ang pa- Even yung mga tao who are very gentle and civilized in life, yeah. pagdating online, grabe, parang hindi, hindi marunong makipag-discussion. Okay. So, yun. So, those are things that... Ibang na... topic yan. Interview. Ang ganun na naisip mo na yan. Civilized discussion. Which is true. Oh. Kasi yung iba, di ba, yung sasabihin na lang nila na ano, edi eh, ikaw na. <laughs> Patay. <laughs> yun. But yeah, yeah, I, I think it's really important for parents na makinig. Di ba? Sa mga anak nila on current issues and location. Nakita mo rin eh, kasi kung meron ba silang preconceived notions yeah. na napulot from somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. At yeah. least pwede mong i-ano na, actually at anak, least. oo, hindi oh. ganun. Yes, yes. And looking at that, since you know, possible nga na meron mga iba't ibang opinions, and ang dami na yung mga woke, mga cancel culture and all. What do you think are the foundations? Ano yung sa tingin mm-hmm. mo yung para you know, foundation of teaching this okay. or how do we impart how okay. do we impart this to our children, to our students? Ang pinaka-importante kasi um, if you're going to like you're going to teach politics and governance and then it has to do with forming opinions yeah. meron dapat kayong standard. Okay. Ano yung ano yung ruler na pagbabasihan nyo? Okay. Yeah. Um, ako as a as a Christian, yes. syempre, it's God's word. Okay. Authority so, parang at, of, oh, 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 at the end of the day, di ba, mm-hmm. ang pinaka-authority dyan is, is God's word. Mm-hmm. So, um, 
if you're a Christian parent, if you're a Christian homeschool educator, yun yung kailangan mo rin, hindi lang ituro ano yung issue, aralin siya, pero what does God's word say? And pag sinala mo yun against God's word, where should you stand? Okay. That also okay. affects, you know, um, how you deliver your opinion mm-hmm. and how you treat people who have a different opinion. Okay? And so, yun, yun talaga yung importante. Kasi, kaya naman nagdi-disagree eh, kasi magkakaiba tayo ng, ng standard. Yeah, oo, standard. Wala pang, oo, kung ano, ano, so, pero kung isa tayo ng pinagbabasihan, mm-hmm. mas madali to come to an agreement. And, but I understand na, kunwari sabihin ng anak mo, eh, mami kasi yung kausap ko, hindi naman kasi siya kristyano. Or hindi siya naniniwala oh, sa Bible. O hindi siya naniniwala oh. sa Bible. So, anak, huwag ka na mabigla na hindi kayo nag agree Pero ano bang mas importante? Mag-agree kayo sa issue na yun or makakilala siya sa Diyos? Okay. okay. Kasi minsan yun yung um, I'm happy na there are Christians who are active with regards to what they think about um, mm-hmm. politics, social justice. Kaya yeah. lang minsan, parang yun na yung pinaka-importante. Nasisira na yung relationship. Nakakalimutan na ano yung mas importante. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eh, ang mas importante, tao yan na may yeah. kaluluwa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay lang na magkaiba tayo ng ibobotong presidente. <laughs> yeah. Diba? Ma- Ilan-ilang taon lang naman nagiging presidente ang presidente niya. Yeah. Mas yeah. importante yung kaluluwa mo. Yeah. Kung masisira yung relationship natin, kung masisira yung testimony ko sa'yo dahil dito, yeah. eh, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. No. Yeah, that's true. So the foundation should really be you need you need to know your why. I think the mm-hmm. why you yeah. are teaching it and how you will teach it. Mm-hmm. You need to agree as a family what your basis would be. Mm-hmm. Diba? I mean for, for some other people it could also be other things, eh. Mm-hmm. So I think their important reason talaga is to know how you will teach it and why you will yeah. teach it. So, pero looking at it, when you when you teach it, ano yung goal mo for your students? Why would you want them to, you know, to learn this? Mm-mm. Well, kasi sa akin, I think the end goal of all things, mm-hmm. well, is to glorify God. Okay. So, anong connection niya sa politics and governance? Well, mm-hmm. it says in the Bible na all authority comes from God. Mm-hmm. So, I want my students to know about who the people in authority are, mm-hmm. what the people in authority want them to do. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because God commands in His Word that we submit to these people in authority. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan alam nila sino ba sila. Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung pinagagawa nila. Mm-hmm. However, at the same time, um, the Bible also says, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Mm-hmm. Meaning, give to the government what yeah. belongs to the government. And give to God what is God's. Mm-hmm. So, kailangan matuto sila, malaman nila yung delineation. Kasi mm-hmm. posible na yung government, hinihingi na nila yung dapat para sa Diyos. Diyos. Okay. okay. So, kung humihingi yung government, nasambahin mo sila, yun, madali lang, di ba, malaman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Pero, yeah. if, you know, are they now asking you to sin? Mm-hmm. So, kailangan malinaw sa'yo, ano yung sin? Ano ba yung mm-hmm. commands ng, ng Diyos? So, that's why mm-hmm. kailangan mong that's why I think it's necessary to teach them who are the people in authority, yeah. what do they want, how do you measure it ag- against God's word. Mm-hmm. Okay? And then also, they also have to understand that because we are in a democracy, mm-hmm. actually, tayo, as citizens, we are people in authority. Mm-hmm. And diba sabi ko, sabi, well, sabi ng Bible, that all authority comes from God. So even our authority comes from Him. So accountable tayo sa Diyos. So, kailangan turuan ko rin, turuan din natin sila na how do you use this authority responsibly? How do you choose who to vote? Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you support a, what do you do kung yung binoto mo hindi nanalo? <laughs> Pero may, may you're, you stand for particular <coughs> issues. Pwede ka bang lumapit sa congressman mo? Mm-hmm. Kung meron kang reklamo, may, pwede ka bang magreklamo? Pwede, pwede ka mag- Paano ka dapat oh, magreklamo? Paano yung, oo. Oh, oh. So, yung mga ganon. Yeah. So, it's submission to the authority that God has placed and also mm-hmm. using the authority that has been given to you responsibly kasi accountable tayo sa Diyos. Siya yung nagbigay natin. Yeah. So, ang take home ko dito is, number one, um, politics and governance can be taught at home. Pwede siyang ituro. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. And, I, and I see na dapat siyang ituro looking at those reasons. Especially dahil nababalik sila ng regular school. Mm-hmm. Pangalawa, forming opinions is also a form of, you know... It's, it's a skill. A, yeah, it's a skill okay. that we, we need to know. Yun yan. Panibagong topic yung ano, civilized, ano? <laughs> <laughs> discussion. Oo, uh, civilized discussion. And also, because the government is under HUD, mm-hmm. di ba? And if we want to, you know, if we want to please God, we also need to know how we could go about politics and governance. Mm-hmm. That we, because it's it's really possible to, you know, be in this. Ano ba siya sabihin? To know what is happening in and out of the government, not to sacrifice, glorifying the Lord. Para hindi siya mm-hmm. hiwalay. Yes. Mo, yes. Uh-oh. Hindi siya disconnected kasi para sa, 'di ba? Para may mga nagiging issue na hiwala yung church kasi nga hiwala yung state, 'di ba? But for us who follow the Lord, it is this actually is, connected. This is all of life. Christianity yes. is all of life. Yes. So it, it even our citizenship on earth is part mm-hmm. of that. So it is connected. Therefore, hindi siya ituro at dapat siya. Mm-hmm. Salamat. May tanong ako, okay. man- manok ba'y naririnig ko? Oo, naririnig na ba sila? <laughs> Naku! Well, wala pa akong pang noise cancellation, so kailangan na lang mag-deal nung mga... Okay, natuwa Na- lang ako. <laughs> Oo, nagwa-well ka sila sa labas. Bakit kaya? Alam mo ngayon lang, ng politics. 